Hi, everyone. Welcome to our talk on computational language modeling. My name is Aaron Buchanan, and my colleague, Phil Grimm, will also be presenting with me today. The Open Subtitle Corpus is a very large, freely available, and recently updated set of language corpora. Each corpus consists of subtitles from movies to represent more naturalistic use of language. At present, the corpus website provides more than 50 languages of various corpus sizes. Several of these data sets have been transformed into frequency norms, which have been successful at predicting lexical decision times and more. Gary Lupian's lab has also published several papers exploring the open subtitle corpora and how they might provide insights into the structure of language. The Substavec project is a recent publication by Van Paradon and Thompson. It's an ex exciting, excellent project that creates distributional models using subtitles and the Wikipedia corpora for a large number of languages. Using fast text, they trained models using the parameters noted in the table here on the right. We're particularly interested in examining the suitability of these language models, focusing on three parameters, window size, dimensions, and model algorithm, which is continuous bag of words, SIBO, versus a skip gram approach. Now, the training of these models is potentially a critical limitation of the Substavec project. Mandera et al. have previously shown that English and Dutch fit different model parameters, although there are differences in the processing and programming of these models. However, it seems that these model choices may indeed make a difference, but they're not fully explored in the original paper. Additionally, the Substavec paper focuses on the necessity of using open subtitles plus Wikipedia together to ascertain model fit and not all languages were tested. Therefore, our project builds on the Substavec work by manipulating these parameters and providing evidence of the best models for each language. I'll let Phil tell you about our progress in examining model similarity across languages. Quickly, I wanted to note that this project is part of a larger mega study that focuses on semantic priming partnered with the Psychological Science Accelerator. The PSA is a global network of research labs who partner together to engage in worldwide research. The project's lofty goals include providing a large multilinguistic normed data set for computational analysis, code packages for accessing and interacting with the data, and more. We are looking for collaborators on this project and several more. If you would like to join or learn more, please contact me. Thanks, Aaron. The process we're using to train our models uh, pretty closely mirrors the process from the Van Paradon and Thompson paper, although there are a few differences. Uh, the data for each language is downloaded from the Open Subtitles Archive and from the Wikipedia Dump Archive, and then pre-processed into a combined corpus. The cleaning process includes removing all the markup, the HTML and the XML, um, all punctuation, arranging the documents so that they contain one sentence per line, and then normalizing them all to lowercase. Uh, Van Paradon and Thompson's process also included um, intra-document sentence deduplication. Uh, some of, of the other earlier work that we looked at um, with these same corpora used document level deduplication. Um, we felt like sentence deduplication removes some important information about common phrase usage, so we've opted not to do that. And because these corpora are pretty well curated, um, we feel that the document level deduplication isn't really necessary either. Although um, once we were done with the first run of the uh, analysis here, we will probably perform uh, another round with deduplication just to show the uh, that the deduplication isn't really necessary. Uh, once everything is cleaned, the combined corpus is assembled, then we build the model, the word to vector model. We extract the words by dimensions and those are saved and the fast text model is trained uh, and evaluated for each combination of our parameters.
with this process, we're going to generate 110 models per language. So that breaks down. Um, we're going to vary the number of dimensions using 50, 100, 200, 300, and 500 dimensions. We are going to vary the window size uh, from 3 to 13. And we are going to use uh, two different algorithms, uh, the continuous bag of words, or SIBO, and the skipgram algorithm. Then for each of those 110 models, we will use ridge regression to predict the norms. Uh, ridge regression will help insulate us against multicollinearity, uh, given the very large size of this data set that we're using. Uh, we'll collect all of the R squared values. We will bucket them into 1% buckets and then decide which are the best models for each language. Um, our definition of what is the best model is the simplest model with the highest R squared value. And by simplest, what we mean is the lowest number of dimensions and the lowest window size. And here you can see uh, some of the preliminary output of the process. Um, for this particular uh, run, I used uh, test data uh, that was the same test data that uh, Van Paraden and Thompson used. Uh, we are expanding the scope of the test data sets for our study. Um, so we'll have a, a wider range of norms data to predict and test against. Um, but uh, this gives you some idea of what the output of our process will look like when we're finished. We'd like to thank you for listening to our uh, presentation. Uh, the data processing and, uh, and, and data collection is ongoing. Uh, this process is extremely uh, computationally expensive. Uh, the FastTex model actually, uh, despite its name, takes quite a long time to build. Um, and so the, uh, the process is ongoing and we will report in uh, when we are complete um, and look forward to, uh, to publishing our results. Um, we also look forward to entertaining any questions or comments you may have, and again, Thank you for listening and, uh, and we hope to hear from you.